Hello everyone and welcome to this latest edition of Bronte Mania. Um, in this video I'm going to be exploring the life of Maria Bronte, who is the uh, wife of Patrick and the mother of six children. Um, first of all I'd like to um, delve into uh, the sort of women she was in appearance and stuff. She was like um, known as a petite woman uh, with a pleasing appearance and her character was really she was rather a gregarious bouncy individual full of life. Um, I'd like to read from two letters, two excerpts from two letters she wrote to Patrick during the courtship which shows slightly different sides of a character. The first one it relates to um, where she actually teases him rather um, in a good-natured way and it reads like this um, I do indeed sometimes think of you but I will not say how often lest I raise your vanity that's a bit of a humanist one and the next one um, is more uh, showing her true love for him um, she says, but what nonsense I am, am I writing? Surely after this you can have no doubt that you possess all my heart. Two months ago I could not possibly have believed that you would ever engross so much of my thoughts and affections. And far less could I have thought that I should be so forward as to tell you so. I believe I must forbid you to come here again unless you can assure me that you will not steal any more of my regard. Um... I'd like to show you now a picture of um, a portrait of Maria. Um, uh, and next would be, um, as I've done in some of my other videos, um, I'm going to actually quote from the book I've written on the life of Anne Bronte, um, Maria's youngest um, child, um, who was only a toddler when Maria died, which is very sad. But um, this is uh, yeah, a quote from her, basically what she, her reflections on her mother, which are somewhat hazy from her own recollection because she was only very, as I say, a toddler when her mother died, um, but she's basic more on what her siblings, what their reflections on her are. And it uh, goes like this. Um, so where Anne refers to her mother's bravery throughout her illness, because um, she actually had cancer toward, um, after being married to Patrick for the best part of nine years, um, and it was a rather long and gruesome uh series of events leading up to her death um, but uh, try to be a bit more upbeat in this part where talking about her good qualities and everything of the mother um, and says Charlotte in particular has told me how valiantly she the mother fought against her disease but in the end it was a fight she could not win her ravaged body was a pitiful sight to see Charlotte told me, as sad as it was to have to part with Mama at such an early age, her death could be seen in the light of a blessing. Better that than to watch her continue to suffer. Anne later refers to a day when Charlotte showed her some letters her mother had written to their father during their courtship. As Anne states, there is a sweetness and an innocence in these letters which I can but marvel at. The words set down in these epistles clearly come straight from the heart. There is a deep yearning and almost painful aching at being apart from one another, but even the briefest of moments which cannot but reach into one's soul and provide a glowing example of what true love means. It stands first and foremost for a hidden resolve to always have a picture of a soulmate in one's heart. This picture has the power to carry a person through any manner of disappointments. It provides strength and hope when it is most required, offering a brighter tomorrow than was formerly envisaged, 
merely by acknowledging that there is someone whose heart beats as one with your own. And later describes how she gained a picture of her mother through reading these letters. As she says, They gave me a sense of Mama's kind nature and her warm heart. There was a tender feeling behind each word she wrote. And in my book I have Anne using her mother as a model for her creation of Mrs. Grey. This is the mother of her heroine Agnes from her first novel. Anne confesses that on occasion she became almost overwhelmed by the strength of Mrs. Grey's temperament. It little surprised me from this point on that Agnes should prove herself to be such an indomitable character, for in truth, how could she be otherwise when she had a mother such as this? Yeah, she must have been a very strong woman to have to face up to cancer in the way she did and knowing that she was going to leave a young family behind, six young children and of course her beloved husband Patrick who was suffer through this dreadful calamity um, but the memories of her family remained and they knew that she was a truly wonderful person and a great mother and a great um, wife. Um, in my next video I am actually going to be talking about um, Maria's sister Elizabeth who was always known as Aunt Branwell. Branwell was a um, surname and they, uh, she was very important in the family in allowing them to overcome the loss of Maria and she acted as a housekeeper and a really valuable member of the household from that moment on right up till when she died in 1842. So that will be my next video which I plan to get out very shortly. Well, thanks very much for tuning in to Bronte Mania once again, and I look forward to speaking with you again very soon.